Good morning and welcome to beautiful Port Lincoln. But today, we would like to introduce you to Agnes. A little bit later, we're actually going to show you the details about how this camper van's been put together. Would you rather crocodiles or cold water? <laughs> I think and this is the old girl, the hub. This is the hub. The a hub. hub or hub? Hub. Hub. The hub. <laughs> She's a cold land, a cruel land, a land of massive birds, massive sharks, and massive adventures. Welcome to South Australia. In this series, we'll be proving once and for all that this great state of Australia is not just a quick way to get from east to west. <laughs> so grab yourself a frothy, do some power kicks and strap yourself in for some more kick-ass adventures. Come on, let's see all they can. <laughs> and hashtag do the stuff you love. If this doesn't work, I'm coming after y'all. So hit that subscribe button and let's get on with it. Good morning friends, welcome to episode 2 of our lovely little Adelaide series. I hope you loved episode 1 where we travelled from Darwin to Adelaide. However, today we would like to introduce you to our camper Agnes. So Agnes is the one we salvaged back from Victoria from our trip down from Northern Territory. She was an absolute bargain, she's pretty much brand new. She's got a bit of vintage mustard bluey colour to her. So that's mustard why blue, is that a colour? Mustard and blue. But we thought Agnes was a fitting type for the actual camper van. But a little bit later, we're actually going to show you the details about how this camper van has been put together and especially our car and why we've been able to travel the way we've been able to in the past couple of days. Yeah, so we're getting it packed up now, which takes a minute because it's a bit of a nightmare. And uh, we're going to jump in the car and drive to the Air Peninsula and get set up tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to show you our entire new off-road setup that we're going to be taking around South Australia, including um, our car, the Prada that we bought and why, our camper and why. But most importantly, our electrical system, because that is what allows us to work and study on the road, which has been brilliant. It's been spot on. Like, we've uh, actually nailed this accidentally, but we've done... There was no accident, my dear. <laughs> no accident. Like, the thing with electronics, it's actually quite difficult. So if you want to be able to find out how to do all this digital nomad on the road, stick around so we can show you how it's all done. All right, let's get packed up. Let's do it. I hate this bit. <laughs> know what time we started that but I predicted we'd be done by 10 and it's 9 20 so go us uh, we need to go to the bins drop the rubbish off fill up water bottles and I need to wash these feral ass hands let's do it well done by yeah. us first night or first, first uh, uh, set up pack up first set up pack up but efficient we're wearing the same shirt we look a bit dodgy <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing current shirt so uh let's go we will catch you guys in uh I think we're gonna go visit a lighthouse so we'll see you at the light me from you First little stop off and uh, making some oh, love is making us a sandwich on top of a tire. I don't know that we're going to make it to the lighthouse today because uh, we want to get into camp before dark because there's no fun trying to find a free camp after dark. So uh, what you get to see instead is me making a vegetable sanger at a truck stop on a tire. <laughs> Sorry viewers, but I did not actually realise Hannah's actually towed a trailer before. I have never in my life towed a trailer and I just overtook a road train you did, a two Mom. lane road. You did. I'm so proud of me. Wow. I've made him drive the trailer like all year. We've only driven it twice, but I, I made him do it and uh, now I had to do it and I was so scared, yeah. but now I'm happy. The one episode that we didn't uh, release was our trip going up the east coast to Buchan. Yeah, right before COVID struck, we are uh, we were starting our east coast trip. We got as far as three hours from home, and then good old uh, Scomo was like, "Everyone go home." Don't say the c word. Plans. Don't say the c word. You all got to go into lockdown. So uh, I made Kieran drive three hours there and three hours home because I was in a mood, and I thought, all right, how am I going to get him to drive all of South Australia because I don't want to tow the trailer, and uh, it lasted half a day. And we're here. But I did it! And I'm about to overtake another truck, so please stop distracting me. Yeah. Nothing can keep me from my heart is sore. I've been down before. Now I'm running, running. Nothing can keep me from you. Hello, Port Lincoln. 
blanket. Yeah. We sucked out a little bit. We were driving into town and we saw that the caravan park with hot showers is only $130 for seven nights. That's cheaper than our normal rent at home, which is wild. And it was actually cheaper than the national parks. So we were gonna literally, stay literally. With the... just a long drop toilet. Yeah. Come on, does it? Shut up. Um, yeah, so we're actually staying in the township again at a caravan park, which is incredibly lush for us. We were supposed to be free camping, but it was a little bit too far out of town. So uh, we have a week in this paradise, and I'm grateful for hot showers because it is only 18 degrees and I am cold to the bone. So uh, we're gonna head into town now and set up our caravan or our Agnes, as we Agnes. call her, and uh, we will catch you around dinner time, I think. At least make it look like you're enjoying it. It is so cold! <laughs> Not like Darwin, is it? Ooh, would you rather crocodiles or cold water? <laughs> I think I'd rather the crocodiles. Morning, guys. Good morning and welcome to beautiful Port Lincoln. It is not as beautiful as it was yesterday. Uh, it's very overcast and very cold. Us Darwinians are not doing okay. But today, we would like to introduce you to Agnes. Oh, yeah. Insert some like, dun, 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 <laughs> in here, please, Kieran. Uh, today, we would like to give you a brief little tour of our campus home. Uh, she is a two meter tiny little trailer called Agnes and she don't even notice she's there. So uh, that's why we love her. Uh, today we would like to show you where we sleep and where we hang out and where we work because we do work full time on the road. I like to say full time, but we don't actually get paid for any of this, so no. uh, it's just a lot full of work entertaining hours. you guys, really. Uh, we would also like to show you how our power system works because we've had a lot of questions about how we have enough power to run fridges and freezers and yes, we have a freezer. So we will show you our power system uh, that runs our fridge, freezer and our computers, which is absolutely vital and we have had a lot of questions about that. So without uh, further ado, come on inside and I'll show you around. Okay, so Agnes comes with a uh, lovely awning. She's not very fancy, so this isn't going to be a fancy like van tour or anything, but she does have an awning. Out here is where we live and work and eat. We hand built this lovely kitchen with my father that is starting to fall off. Hit a hard bump and she's gone. So we need to fix that when we get back to Melbourne, if we get back to Melbourne. Uh, we have a really shitty old stove that's missing a knob. Great. And uh, our cupboards do not close because they form half of our table. And uh, that's about it for the kitchen. It holds all of our shit. Uh, knives, cups, forks, plates, all the shebang that you need. Yeah, that's, that's it for the kitchen. I, I hope you enjoyed the kitchen tour. <laughs> Over here we have the tables. We have a table each because we used to fight a lot. Uh, we have some fantastic chairs that my ma and pa got us for Christmas. Uh, they have saved our backs quite Amazing literally. Amazing gifts. So good. Particularly so when we're working good. on the laptops for quite a while, oh, you yeah. need good support. Got to say the hardest thing about the uh, digital nomad life is the um, fact that your table and chair never suits each other. It's not like working in a nice ergonomic table in an office. I've got to admit that's the hardest part. But yeah, this is where we work. I usually have the ugly green table and Kieran gets a nice white one. I don't know why. If you come over here, we have our water source. Because we're in a caravan park this week, we don't actually need them, but it saves our asses having to walk up the hill every 10 minutes to get a cup of water. So that's nice. And uh, I would like to show you our lights really quickly. Kieran will talk more about our electrical system, but oh, they're turned off. Hold that thought, I'll come back to the lighting <laughs> system. If you take your shoes off and come inside, this is the ugly insides of Agnes. And yes, she's not pretty. Look, she's not pretty, she's budget. She costs us less than $2,000 and it's considerably less than $2,000, mind you. Um, but this is her. Over here, we have our amazing, amazing double bed. <sighs> Gotta say, love living in Girraween, but this bed shits all over our bed in Girraween. Yeah. So good, I can't even get out of it in the morning. And uh, with our spectacular view, 360, which is lovely. Our storage system consists of two box, one for entertainment and one for linens. Um, I suggest when you buy a camper trailer, measuring out the inside of your camper trailer and buying boxes to fit because that is the best system. All we have to do is yank these out when we pull up and plop them down. So that is brilliant. And our Kieran's crap lives in here too. Our lighting system consists of a $4 light from Bunnings and some $5 lights that are fairy lights and they are solar. I'll give you a brief demonstration of how the fairy lights work. 
we have a solar panel. They are solar fairy lights because we are eco-friendly holistic travellers. And uh, all we do is go uh, on. <laughs> on. <laughs> Doesn't work in the daytime. So uh, they're quite pretty. And uh, I think that's it for the insides of Agnes. If you have any questions about how we organise her, if you are living at a canvas temple like we are, it's not always easy and generally it looks always messy it's just always looks messy and people walk past and they're like oh that camp's a bit dodge lodge but it's nice okay it's nice that's about it we do have power indoors and kieran will explain that uh coming from our car our car is our hub uh, if you've ever watched uh what's that movie the martian that's the hub and then this is like the rover that we can take places it's fab uh yeah I, that's all I've got for you guys. We have these Oki straps that lift our mattress up. Very high tech. We had gas shots, but they don't work. And yeah, let, let's, you want to go check out the car? The car's the good bit. The car's got all of our shit in it and the power system. So let's go do that now. And this is the old girl, the hub. This is the hub. The hub. hub or hub? Hub. Hub. The hub. Mm -hmm. So you probably would have introduced or been introduced to her before. This is the Prado Peri Peri, we've now called it. Yeah, um, reluctantly, Kieran didn't want to call her Peri Peri, but Peri Peri is a great name. Comment below if you like the name Peri Peri. Peri Peri. So a power system, it's quite intricate, but it works fabulously. So whilst we're driving, our dual battery system, it will be leaking into the second battery. So whilst our second battery is being charged, it is also powering every single equipment that we've got charging inside. So we've got a few bits that we can charge from. We've got a hundred, what uh, connection, AC connection, so for our drones, for our cameras that do require an AC connection, but we also have got USBs. So these will also charge as well. So like your GoPros, your phones, etc. Behind it, we've got the other 12 volt cigarette lighter, which will then charge our fridge whilst driving. So all in all, it just circulates and it all powers every single device. We have no troubles. Once we have stopped, we've got another device to be able to charge everything, and that is our solar farm! Our solar farm. So as we were talking about before, we're really trying to be holistic in our travels and that's trying not to rely on powered sites. So going from here, we will charge, following into our Anderson plug here, which will then go through the system to our battery to then come back out to our Anderson plug. Anderson the second. Anderson the second, which will then go to our inverter, which Tim thankfully has sent it up to us because uh, with all the devices we need to charge, we needed a big bloody ask inverter. So 600 watt inverter, which will then power all our devices inside. So follow me. So connecting on the white cord, we will then follow around. So the white cord's coming from our inverter. Ah, mother! And that goes into the tent, which is currently charging my phone. Yes, only your phone. So the fridge, as you've already seen before, it's a $600 Austral dual size 80 litre fridge. It has been awesome thus far. Doesn't really take up much battery either, but it's got two connections. It's got an AC connection and a cigarette lighter, which whilst we're, uh, we're stopped over, we put it into the AC connection to the inverter. And whilst we're traveling, we can put it in the cigarette lighter or the AC connection. So very versatile in the way we sort of camp. We haven't had much problems at all yet, touch wood but it's been excellent for us because we need a lot of food whilst we're on our own and particularly when we're gonna be free camping, we need to be able to stock up. So I hope you liked that art too. Whoa, my hair's doing strange things today. If you have absolutely any questions about our power system, which is probably the most intricate but useful part of our setup, please message us because we had a lot of trouble trying to find this information online. I am planning on doing a detailed blog post, so it would be worth heading to www.flatofthefox.online to see if I have done that yet. If I haven't, <laughs> just absolutely read me in the comments. Just keep her you? accountable, please. Just absolutely go ham in the comments if I have not done that yet. But also be mindful, she's doing a master's degree, so <laughs> I'm yeah, tired. It's, it, she is very tired. Every video we've made this week, I've been like, and check out the blog post, and then it's just not there, so Kieran just cuts it. <laughs> I'm currently editing one, and she's like, yeah, wait for this blog post, and it's still not read. Uh, anywho, if you do have questions, let us know in the link below. If you do have a fantastic power setup, we would love to see what you guys do because uh, our, our setup could always be improved. And I am fighting really hard for a bigger and better camper van because it is cold. Apart from that, we really wanted to stress the fact that we are trying to travel a little bit more holistically and a little bit more cleanly and not relying on powered sites. So in a caravan park, powered sites are usually only 4 or $5 more per night. 
but having your own power system gives you so much more freedom and it also means that you're not using whatever power the, the, the campsite provides so we don't know if that's green or coal or what so if you are traveling and if you are out there enjoying the world hopefully on a better day than today think about how you can be a little bit more greener that's today's tip uh, don't use single-use plastics and get a solar panel because they're surprisingly cheap. Yeah. For the for the solar farm, I'm very impressed. I'm but, just going to buy 20 of those and connect to my house, to be honest. Like, Jesus. They're great, but on a day like this, uh, they're a little bit hindering. Yeah, so we actually have to go to Coffin Bay now because <laughs> we just have to drive somewhere to recharge the batteries. So, uh, we'll see you in Coffin Bay. Yeah. And, and, and like and subscribe because liking and subscribing really helps us out and the algorithm leaves a comment you know the jazz all youtube say this you've heard about. it all before just do it because it really helps us and uh that's all i have for you today so uh bye is that okay oh. <laughs> did you have anything to say no i didn't okay bye bye Thank you so much for joining us this week guys next week we are exploring the phenomenal coffin bay national park just west of port lincoln join us that next wednesday guys and have a good week bye what's that sorry drinking tea like you deserve you should put your fly up too never mind him <laughs>